welcome to my blog about lunchboxes. Blog about packs. Blogs about pencils. Blog about water glasses. Blogs about pens. Blog where I leave the camera running and I don't record anything. I am a talking bookhead. I review books. I'm a pile of books that review books. Hope y'all are doing good today. It is a lovely day. Should I talk about the weather? Should we make this a weather report channel? No, because you have an app for that. And book review talking is so much fun. <laughs> All right, so today I am reviewing Saint Anything by Sarah Dessen, who is one of my all-time favorite authors. Love her, been reading her since high school. I know so long, and I have all of her books. And yeah, I met her at the Veronica Mars movie. It was pretty much the greatest moment of my life. I can, yeah, can't even, don't even know what to say. It was so fantastic. But Saint Anything is about Sydney, who lives in the shadow of her older brother, Peyton. And Peyton can do no wrong. This kid is messing up. He is stealing. He is breaking into things. He's basically just a wild card who seems to have no, you know, gosh, sense of responsibility or sense of self-control or judgment calling. Like he is just totally out there in his own planet so far to the point where he gets in a drunk driving accident and hits a little boy who is riding home that night to his own home. So he hits the little boy and this is part of, I mean, this part is the most emotional and just gut wrenching part of the story is little boy is paralyzed now. And the brother goes off to jail and that's where the book starts is at the court hearing for Sydney's brother Peyton. And while you're there, you kind of get an idea of her family and just the overall, the characters, the other characters involved in the book, there's Peyton's good friend, and he is, in my opinion, just a total creeper, so uncomfortable. And he seems to have a weird protectiveness over Sydney, and he becomes um, a somewhat dominant character throughout the storyline, and her parents really like this character, and I kind of think that they made him the replacement brother in many ways for a little bit so it was just it was weird sydney is now dealing with the aftermath of all of this her mom makes a lot of excuses and that's a big part of this relationship in the book is the mom and her children the mom and her husband is that the mom doesn't seem to accept that it's any of their faults or any of her children's fault. It's always somebody else's. There's always a reasoning for it. Even though he's now gone to jail, even though a boy is now paralyzed, they're still making excuses for it. And Sydney's kind of consider, you know, she considers herself invisible because even at school she lives in the shadow of her brother. He's so outspoken, so loud, and Sydney is so well behaved. And she's just your awesome, good girl character that you love and you want to be and you want you know and you want to root for her now sydney a few this is some time later is going to transfer schools and she'll meet new friends and some of these friends include layla who i adore and layla makes me want to eat dum dum lollipops and you will find out why when you read the book so read it and she's like what well, you want your best friend to be super loyal and there for you uh we meet layla's brother we meet Layla's brother and Sydney obviously thinks he's a very nice person. Her family, Layla's family, the Chatham, Chatham, I cannot pronounce that name, but it starts with the C and they are awesome. Uh, Layla's family, her mom is in a wheelchair so they have their own, you know, issues and problems and they deal with it and they're such a positive family and they're what you want your family to be like in a time of need or crisis and they just take Sydney in and they make her one of her own and I love that part of the story. So Sydney's, you know, she's finding herself at her new school, her new friends, her like substitute family and still dealing with her parents who are in denial of the fact that her brother did something awful. They're not apologizing, in fact, they're making excuses. Her mom, at one point in the book, even argues, well, why was, you know, why was that boy out riding his bike at night? You know, it's not her brother's fault that he was driving and drinking, it was the little kid who was riding home. So you're gonna get really angry during that part. Uh, there were parts where I definitely got emotional and the tears, the waterworks came. And I liked on this opening page, it says, for all the invisible girls, and for my readers for seeing me. And I thought that was very lovely. I don't know if you can see it, but I enjoyed that. And I thought that was a very lovely way to open the book because it is a very sad book and a dark book. All right, so some added information to this storyline is that Layla is boy crazy and chooses all the wrong boys. 
Uh, the Chatham family is awesome and they welcome Sydney in with open arms. Uh, at one point in the storyline, Sydney makes a kind of bad decision. Not really though, to be honest. And she gets caught making that quote unquote bad decision. Uh, I mean, it, I'm not approving it, but it it was like a moment of weakness, I think. And it was so minor that her mom catches her though. And well, that's when the hammer comes down hard. They just start laying down the law, not liking her friends. And that's the even worse part. So Sydney goes from being invisible the entire storyline, her mom making excuses for her brother, to being so overly watched by her mom and dad that it's insane. Like she becomes her mom's project and just has no life, can't leave home, can't do anything and it's awful and it just makes you so angry. Read Sarah Dessen, read any of her books. Uh, they're all standalones, which you know me and I'm a big fan of a standalone book. I like to start and finish it and not be carried around for years waiting and waiting. Uh, she has a lot of books which you can check out any of them, I would recommend. I do really like The Truth About Forever as well. Shall I just keep going through them all? That'd be a lot of books. Okay guys, I'm giving it five out of five stars and I really recommend checking it out. It is, you know, young adult coming of age story and it's great. It's a lot of emotional roller coaster and you're also just gonna find so much warmth and love in the way Sydney is welcomed in to Layla's family and how Layla's family deals with life. So I think it's a really good example of how we can all handle situations when life throws challenges at us. And again, five out of five stars, Saint Anything by Sarah Dessen. Go read all of her books. They are awesome. Bye guys, check it out. Hit it up, read that book.